In this mandolin video, I'm going to show you how to play a bluegrass mandolin solo by Adam Steffi. He's one of my heroes and this solo he played on the Jim Lauderdale CD. Uh, this song is called I'm kind of learning as it go. So let us first have a listen to Mr. Steffi when he's playing it and then we go into the tutorial part. I got the track here in my iPad, so here we go. Hey early bird, don't let me sleep too long. I'm kind of learning as I go. I did once more. Learning as I go. Yes, it's a very delicate and brilliant mandolin solo and I think every mandolin player should know this one, so please let me break it down for you. Mandolinstudies.com My name is Magnus and I hope my videos can make you a better and more inspired mandolin player. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. I have new videos like this coming out every week. One of the best ways to learn to play an instrument is to try to play like your heroes. And learning solos from a guy like Adam Steffi is a very, very good way to improve your mandolin playing. And uh, yeah, he's, you're probably familiar with him and uh, yeah, you all know Adam Steffi, he's, the, he's a hero. His way of putting together the solos, his improvisation skills, Playing these smooth melodic lines is just amazing. And this CD with Jim Lauderdale is full of this really, really, really neat and cool solos by Adam. And um, the CD is called Could We Get Any Closer? So check that out. And uh, we play this solo now uh, two times in a slower tempo. I actually using this app that is called uh, Capo. I think it's a, there's a bunch of these apps that can slow down music, but that's a very good help if you want to do this yourself. Here we go. once more so you can also play along with this later on yeah so you see I'm just changing the speed here it's up to speed Slower or even slower. And so on. So you actually change the speed, but you don't change the pitch. So that's why this tool is so good when transcribing. Um, yeah, and he's actually playing this solo over the verse. And it's the verse goes like this. It's two bars of C. One, two, three, four. To E. F. F. G. E. It's only that long. And it's starting off with a pickup, but we leave that out uh, as the start. So we go directly for the C chord, coming like this. I do this slow once more. So we're in like the second position here, meaning the first finger on the third fret.
going we go into the G sharp there to go into the next chord which is E. One thing you can be aware of it's this sound from the the minor third C and then their E flat going to the open E string. I find this very characteristic of um, Adam Steff is playing. I think he's using this a lot. I do the C once more. One, two, three, four. Then we're going into the E chord, two bars of E with a line sounding like this. Once more, three, four. This, when it's played slow, it sounds a little weird, but it makes a great tension to the chords when it's played fast. We do do those two phrases together, starting from C. One, two, three, four. Then we're going into F, sounds like this. So it's again this, this uh, minor third sound uh, working together with a major third. One, two, three, four. Still in this second position. And for the G chord, it sounds like this. F and G together. One, two, three, four. And then he's en ending the solo over the C, two bars of C, with a phrase that sounds like this. Once more. And there we're doing the position shift, also putting in a slide there. And for all this, we're using the alternate picking, meaning down, up, down, up, like this. So from the start, from C, one, two, three, four. Now there's only one part left and that's the pickup. And that's a quite long pickup phrase. Um, and it's it's coming like this. One, two, three, four. You get it? So it's one starting on the four of one, two, three, four. There is the C. I play it slow. That's a really nice thing he's doing, like a like a little uh, trill here. So I pick the G note and then I hammer on the A and I pull off. One. 
One, two, three. So here we're playing it very slow together with Adam Steffi. That's how you want to do it. You start uh, playing it phrase by phrase, and then trying to connect it, and you practice it slow, and then eventually you can bring it up to speed. And hopefully, you can go like Adam Steffi later on. Even if you can't play the solo fast as Adam Steffi do, you will learn a lot by doing things like this. I mean, it opens up your ideas, I think, to how you can connect and make your own solos. And it also gives you uh, the, some licks to your vocabulary. Okay, that's it for right now. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Maybe you want to share this video with a mandolin playing friend. I'm sure there is uh, thousands of mandolin players loving the music of Adam Steffi as much as I do. And I will also be happy if you leave a comment below. What is your relationship to the music of Adam Steffi? Yeah, please tell me and the rest of the viewers watching this video. So have a good time and see you soon. Bye.